Let's try this question where we need to find out the maximum number of marbles. Karan has 180 blue marbles and 150 red marbles. He wants to pack them into packets containing equal number of marbles of the same color. Right? This part is the most crucial part in this question. Karan is going to pack 180 marbles of blue color, 150 marbles of red color. He's going to put them into packets. Any packet is going to have the same number of marbles and he's going to have any one packet will have marbles of the same color. He's not going to mix the colors. What we need to find out is the maximum number of marbles that each packet can hold. First, what we'll do is we'll wind our head around. What are we going to do mathematically to find this? What is that parameter that we find that is going to give us this maximum number of marbles? Subsequently, we'll find out that parameter. Let's get started. Let's assign a variable that the maximum number of marbles in each packet be equal to X. Right? He's going to pack them into packets containing equal number of marbles of the same color. So let each packet contain X marbles. Therefore, he's going to break this 180 blue marbles into packets containing X marbles each. Let's say he's able to make A such packets. So 180 is going to be equal to A times X. He'll be able to do the same thing with 150 red marbles. He's going to break this 150 red marbles into packets containing X marbles each. Let's say he manages to get B packets out of it. So this 150 is going to be equal to B into X. The number of packets, number of marbles in each packet will all have to be integers, which means X, A, B are all integers. Boils down to the fact that X is a factor of 180 and 150. Or in other words, X is a common factor of 180 and 150. Now the question is, what is the maximum number of marbles it can have? So X is not just some common factor. X is the highest such common factor for 180 and 150. Essentially, what we are trying to find out in finding out the number of maximum number of marbles is actually the HCF of 180 and 150. Let's say about doing that, we'll use Euclid's division lemma to compute the HCF of 180 and 150. First step, we will apply the lemma on 180 and 150. 180 is equal to 150 into 1 plus a 30. Reminder in this step is not zero. So recursively apply the lemma. This time we'll be using 150 as a dividend and 30 as a divisor. 150 is equal to 30 into 5 plus 0. The remainder in this step is 0. So divisor of this step, 30 is the HCF of these two numbers, 180 and 150. 30 is the HCF, 30 is the maximum number of marbles that each of these packets can hold. Quickly summarize the computation of the HCF in a printed form. Apply the division lemma. First step, you get a reminder of 30. Therefore, if the remainder is not 0, apply it recursively. Only that you'll be using 150 as your dividend and 30 as your divisor. Second step, you got a reminder of zero. So divisor of the step, 30 is a HCF. The maximum number of marbles that each packet can hold is 30.